the companions, the companions of the Prophet ﷺ feared Allah like anything. The mother of believers of the Daisha radiallahu ta'ala and her used to say, I wish I was a tiny bird. For the fear of accountability were these words said. Hazrat Abu Bakr, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu used to say, I wish, I wish I was the blade of a grass which had just dried and the winds had blown it away. Hazrat Usman radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he used to cry, cry for the fear of hell, for the fear of the day of resurrection, for the fear of the life higher after, for the fear of Allah, that his beard become, used to become wet. Hazrat Abu Zar Ghaffari radiallahu ta'ala anhu, one of the sabikun, he used to say, I wish I was a tree which was just cut down and which was just finished off. Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who has reported, who has narrated the greatest number of ahadith. His time of death, he was crying. And people asked, are you crying for the shock of leaving this world? He said, no, I'm crying because of the realization that my that the journey is long and the provisions are very little. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Hasan Abu Huraira is saying that his provisions for the journey, for the long journey were very little. What provisions have we gathered, my sisters, my daughters? He said the journey this was the journey of hereafter which, for which he was crying. The journey is long and the provisions are little. And he said, I have reached a point ahead of which is either hell or paradise. And I know, I do not know which will be my abode. Hazrat Abu Huraira didn't know what will be his abode. How do we know? How are we so content? How are we so involved in this world? How are we not fearing Allah? How are we not preparing for hereafter? Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala and who used to cry. He used to cry the whole night. He used to cry out of the fear of hereafter, out of the fear of the long journey, out of the fear of his provisions being less. He used to cry and because of the continual crying, the continual flowing of tears, there were marks, there were, there were streaks on his face. And he used to say, I wish my mother, my mother never gave birth to me. The taqwa of Umar radiallahu ta'ala and who? So many occasions in his life we see his taqwa when he became the caliph. He used to cry at the nights. He used to cry through the night. And he used to cry for the fear of accountability. And he used to say, Oh Umar, Oh Umar, that even if a dog dies out of hunger or thirst on the bank of Tigris, then you will be held accountable on the day of judgment. It was this fear of Allah. It was this fear of accountability which did not let him sleep at night. He being the caliph, he used to disguise himself and he used to go about in the streets of the cities. One night, he heard some children cry. He knocked at the door. A lady came out. He asked him, why are the children crying? The lady said, we are poor. We don't have any provisions. We don't have any food to eat today and the children are hungry and that is why they're crying. And then she said, what? She said, may Umar be ill-fated. Obviously, she had not recognized the caliph. May Umar be ill-fated. He does not help us. He does not support us. He does not provide provisions for us. He immediately tried to cover himself justify himself and he said, Oh sister, 
he might not be aware of your conditions. She immediately said, May Umar be ill-fated, then why doesn't he try to find out about our conditions? That was enough for Hazrat Umar. He started trembling with fear of Allah. He started trembling with the fear of accountability. He cried all the way back to Baitul Mal. He took out a bag of flour and he he carried it on his shoulders. And when the when the slave asked and requested him to let me carry all this weight, he said, Oh my brother, you will share my weight, you will share my load in this world. Who will share my load hereafter? He came back to the lady, he helped her prepare the meal, he fed the children, and then only could he sleep over the night. How are we sleeping through the night, days in and days out? With so many people in our neighborhood, with so many children in our neighborhood, knowing that on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be asking his bondsmen, I was hungry, why didn't you feed me? And the bondsmen will say, Oh Allah, you are the sustainer, you are the provider. How could we feed you? And Allah Azza wa Jal will say, Such and such bondsman of mine was hungry, begged you for food, asked you for food out of hunger, and you did not provide. You did not feed him in hunger. Had you fed him, you would have found him with me. You would have found me with him. What are we doing? What are we standing? What are we bothered about? We just bothered about our eat as much you, as you can. We are just worrying about what we need to cook and what we need to eat. The latest and the changing dishes on our counters. Another occasion, Hazrat Umar who was again in the streets at night and he heard a baby crying. He knocked again. A lady came out. He asked, why is the baby crying? And the woman said that the caliph has announced. She again had not recognized Hazrat Umar. The caliph has announced that when a mother stops lactating or nursing her baby, then they will be provided scholarship as provision for the baby. So we are poor and we are needy and so desirous of availing this state scholarship for my baby, I have stopped nursing or lactating my baby from today and he is crying out of hunger because obviously the mother was not feeding the baby. Hazrat Umar ta'ala and who? He was shell shocked, he was stunned and he was so upset that he came back and he spent the whole night crying. What was he saying? He said, Umar, oh Umar, it was because of your faulty decision and your faulty announcement that you know not of how many, how many babies might have been deprived tonight of their due right of being nursed by their mothers. You and your announcement of this scholarship might have been the cause of depriving the babies of their right of being lactated or nursed. In the morning he got up, he made an amendment, he made an amendment to the law and he announced that from now onwards the state will be giving monetary help to all the babies from the day they were born. This was the fear of Allah. My decisions my decisions might not be a source of trouble or a source of issues to somebody. The sense of accountability to face Allah. This was the fear of Allah.